you guys. Had a pretty busy few days. Um, so officially started my new job. So I've been doing stuff for that. And um, sorry, I'm just opening. My breakfast is taco salad. Um, so I've been working the past few days. And today I'm about to do a little bit more work. Um, I'm an executive assistant for two companies. So got to do a lot of internet work, phone calls, things like that. So it's going to keep your girl busy, but luckily it's only part time. So like 15 to 20 hours, like that's it. So I'm grateful for that because I have another job because I'm also a caregiver. So you girls, two jobs, shawty. <laughs> um, I'm such a nerd, but yeah, so I'm doing that. I just showered, about to have breakfast and get some work done. I'm trying to get it done now. It's 10, it's 10, 15 a.m., but I'm trying to get it done now. So that way um, I could just chill the rest of the day because your girl is tired. I probably didn't go to sleep till like 2.30 in the morning last night. I was getting into this show and that show 1883, I was getting into it and it was like the last couple episodes and I'm like, oh, let me knock these out. But I didn't expect it to last until freaking 2, 2.30 a.m. But I did start it later because Mark and I, as y'all saw in the last vlog, uh, we went over to see some Christmas lights and Lambeau Field and we had a fun day yesterday. Um but your girl is definitely feeling it today. But that's why I want to get a little bit of work done. Hold on. Ooh, y'all were. The um, tripod was sitting on my other phone. Using my old phone to play Christmas music while I work. Um, and then after I work, I need to edit so I can get a vlog up to you guys. So it's a lot I need to do. Um, but I'm going to do it. And, you know, it's work. But I'm grateful, you know, to be able to be working and stuff, um, especially with my health. And I'm glad I have two jobs that allow me to be able to take care of myself and work. Um, it, that part is a blessing beyond blessing. Like, because your girl be feeling it and most days. And it's so awesome to be able to do that. So your girl is so blessed. But, um, yeah, some health stuff, um, that I wanted to tell you guys, I, uh, need to have a neck injection. Um, it's basically like a steroid epidural, but it, the epidural doesn't numb like my arms and legs and stuff, but, um, it's to help with the bulging discs that I have in my neck that's causing pain on this, uh, right side. So that'll be done, I think January 13th. So I'll have that done that day. Um, looking forward to that because I don't like neck pain because being able to sit at my desk on the computer to edit or to work for my other job is like hard when your neck hurts, you know, cause some days just the pressure of my head on my neck makes my neck hurt and feel so tired, but I try not to complain. I try not to, I just keep moving it because the more still you keep something, the worse it feels, especially if it hurts. So I just still, you know, keep trying to move and stuff. And I try not to show it, you know, some days is worse than others though, but um, definitely try not to show it. And um, yeah, so I have that going on. And then um, I do have to have surgery on my nose. Um, I went to do the CT scan of my nose and my de deviated septum is, is bent to the left. It, so that needs to be fixed, which the doctor said that they're going to need to cut a piece of this middle part. Like if you feel this middle part of your nose and you feel like that cartilage and stuff, um, he has to take some of that out um, because of how deviated it is. But also um, he said that my right side is really bad. We eat us as humans, we have these three little things in our nose. Um, they look like the things that hang in the back of your throat, but they're harder. And we have those. And my right side is really messed up. And it's so messed up. Back here, something is like more narrow than it should be. Like most people's, you know, nose passages are, you know, normal size and mine's are like this. So he said he has to put a, put a balloon up there and crack it open. 
Um, yeah, it sounds scary, but y'all, if y'all knew how my breathing was, me, I want them to do anything to help me breathe like better because breathing through my mouth ain't no joke. Um, especially now in the, like in the winter time, it's the worst because it's hard to like breathe through your nose because you feel the cold in your chest and I mean, in your breathe through your mouth and then, you know, like you feel the cold in your chest and it's it's the worst and like I said lately I've been so much more winded and stuff and it's just it's just been crazy but he also said that my abnoids which are back you know in your thing and my tonsils need to come out as well but he does not recommend doing it all at once because he said the recovery would be horrible if I were to do it all at once so we're looking to probably get my tonsils and my abnoids removed probably like late spring type of thing um, so I don't mind that. I just want to get all this done. So that way I don't have to always get sick, always deal with my sinuses. Y'all, the pressure sometimes here is so bad. I feel like my cheekbones are broken. Like the way that the pain comes in here. And he said it should help eliminate all that. Um, and back to that injection in my neck, the doc, my doctor for that said that that will help with my headaches as well, because I get a lot of headaches right here. Um, like sh straight down. Um, so she said it would help with that. So I'm kind of looking forward to these. Yeah, obviously everything makes us a little nervous in life because we, the unknown makes us nervous. We don't know, you know, what's fully going to happen and stuff like that. But I've seen these doctors before that are going to be doing all of this stuff. Well, the nose doctor is new, but I have really good vibes from them. But my people who are doing the injections, I got injections from from them before in my SI joints that I recently got. Um, and yeah, so I um I I trust I trust in God and I trust, you know, doctors to know what they need to do and I just wanna feel better. I wanna be able to just go out and do whatever, you know? Because now even something as simple as swimming is a lot for me because um, my back also, and, but my breathing, my breathing affects it a lot. And I used to be an avid swimmer. I used to be on the high dives, all types of stuff, but I haven't done any of that because, you know, my breathing and it just hinders a lot. And um, yeah, your girl's just ready. <laughs> I'm so ready, but um I had a, I have a thought in my head, like, is all this stuff that they're going to be fixing, is it going to change my voice? Because to some extent, I am very nasally. Um, and I'm like, is my voice going to change? Am I going to sound different? Is it going to be more high pitch? You know, like, I don't know. Um, but yeah, your girl's looking forward to it. But I just wanted to give you guys a health update. Let y'all know what, you know, what's going on um, with as far as, you know, that. And then um, definitely keep y'all more posted coming up to it. And I will try to film as much as I can just so that way other people um, know of these things and that they don't have to be nervous to get it done and um, and to show what goes on with them, period, you know. So, but let me get some of this work done and um, yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do later. We did so much yesterday <laughs> that I, I'm I feel it today, like and it's snowing too. Um, so your girl might just chill, watch some movies, not go anywhere. Like the thing, only thing I might do is just put on all my winter gear just to walk to our mail house to get my mail. That's probably about it. Seriously, that's probably the extent of my adventures today but if I do that I'll take y'all outside so y'all can see all the snow we're getting and we're supposed to get more snow into Saturday um but it's supposed to turn to high wind so um but yeah keep y'all posted <laughs> y'all I am so salty because a whole day's worth two days worth of video footage is messed up because this camera was on slow motion mode don't know how that happened probably because it's a touch screen so I probably hit a button on the screen and made it go into slow motion but thank god I recorded some clips on my phone to give you guys vlogs so I'm gonna piece those 
not two days together, but I'm going to piece together the pieces to make a good vlog for you guys. I'm like so salty and the thing is I can watch the clips on my camera and hear the audio. I should have did that. don't know it's annoying um <laughs> it's me it's like i got this camera but it's like i'm gonna be going between my phone and my camera from now on just to be on the safe side because then if i don't have the clips from my camera i at least have them from my phone and i'm pointing right here because my phone is on a tripod right next to you guys see got my phone tripod and i got my camera tripod <sighs> so salty <laughs> man y'all i had to take a break from doing my job my actual job and all this other stuff to do my my hair marrow injection man that shit hurts so motherfucking bad y'all i would not re like i recommend it because overall my pain has been so much better sorry y'all my dog is trying to hop up on this chair. Hold on. Help her get on the chair and she jumps back down anyway. But anyway, yeah. That Humera shot is so painful. But like I said, overall my pain is a lot, a lot better. Like, I don't feel like the joint pains and stuff like that like I used to. I have, I have direct pains, if that makes any sense. Like, I know there's something wrong with my knee. So I have direct pain sometimes in my knee when I sit a certain way um this neck pain something totally different because I have an issue I have bulging discs so that causes that pain so it doesn't help with things like that but like you know my arthritis joint pain stuff like that it helps but to actually do the injections it hurts like a son of a bitch oh <sighs> yeah so this pain is horrible like it, what hurts is when the actual medicine goes in. Like, the needle going in doesn't hurt. I scratched myself. Um, the needle going in doesn't hurt. When you start pushing the medicine in, that shit, it, like, I do it in my thigh because that's more tolerable than doing it in my, in my stomach, which is the two places that they recommend to do it in your stomach or in your thigh. So I do it in my thigh because that's more tolerable for me. But it like when it medicine goes in I swear to god it feels like it feels like my muscle is ripping like that's the only way I can explain it like it hurts so damn bad like but luckily it's only every two weeks and oh man so twice a month I do it and I swear like it's it's painful I don't I don't recommend it as far as like the pain level. You have to be able to tolerate it in order to get it. But to help help wise with pain, it's very, very helpful. But right now, like my thigh is sore. I feel like somebody just punched me in the thigh. Um, and it does have a little bump where the medicine is, you know. So I try to rub it out and stuff like that to help. Normally it takes about 30, 45 minutes for like my pain to actually go away where it was injected. But like shortly after the medicine goes in, maybe within like five minutes of the medicine going in, it starts to get more tolerable. So, you know, but man, holy shit. Oh man, y'all. I had to tell y'all that because your girl be going through it. And when I do it in my stomach, I be ready to cry. I'd be so ready to cry. But glad it's done and I need to get back to work. Hey guys. Whew. It's hours later. I've been working all freaking day. I've literally stopped working at like 3 30. Um almost four o'clock. And that's only because sorry, I'm cooking right now too. But that's only because I was waiting for my employers to contact me back. I was taking phone calls. So I was doing a lot in the midst of that. But now your girl's just making dinner. I'm making Mark some kielbasa. She's going to throw some veggies in that for him. And your girl about to make her some crab legs. I am not going to eat all these though. This is a lot. So 
so I'm not going to eat all these. But um, I'll probably take two clusters out and eat those. And literally chill. Like, your girl is tired. Like, I feel like I could go to sleep right now, but I'm going to stay up, obviously. It's only 6.30. But, um, oh, yeah, I'm just watching YouTube on my iPad while cooking dinner. And, and then I'm going to, um... Probably finish watching YouTube because I have like three days worth of YouTube to catch up on that I normally watch. Like YouTubers that I watch. I watch like Alicia, Alicia Marie. Um, I can't even think of people off the top of my head. There's a few that I faithfully watch. Glamazante is another one. And um, yeah, so catch up on those. Eat dinner and just relax. Um, more snow is supposed to start coming down so... Um, I am, uh, looking forward to that. I may just open up my curtain upstairs, even though it's nighttime, and just watch the snowfall. I feel like I got something in my eye, gee. But it could be dryness, too, so. But, oh, yeah, in the midst of the last, since the last time I talked to you guys, um, uh, my doctor called, and I have a date set for my nose surgery, which will be February 3rd, but they do have me on a list to where if um if something comes opens up sooner then um they'll get me in sooner for my surgery put y'all here um so they'll get me in sooner so fingers crossed that they can get me in sooner if not i'm happy with february 3rd only because i thought it was going to be the end of february like at the rate stuff was going um I thought it was going to be the other end of February by the time I got it scheduled. So that makes me happy. And I'm definitely going to vlog the process um, just so that way you guys get the gist of it. Man, I'm kind of nervous, but I'm very excited. I think the only reason I'm nervous is because your girl went her whole life breathing, being a mouth breather. So... For me to be able to fully breathe out of my nose, it's just going to be like, what, you know, like, I'm super, I'm super, I think I'm more excited than anything, though, so, but here's the kielbasa, let me get that off the heat, like I said, I think I'm just going to add a little bit of veggies with that, you know, like some green beans or something I could throw right in there, but, um, yeah, so your girl will be able to breathe, and then I won't be able to, <gasps> while I'm talking, have to like catch my breath in the middle of talking anymore and sound like I'm extra fat. I know I'm fat, but I ain't that fat. <laughs> so I'm looking forward to that. That's like one of the biggest things I'm looking forward to, and being able to breathe at night without having to sleep like this, <sighs> like, you know, to open up my throat so I can breathe better. I always sleep with my head back, unless I'm cold, then my face goes down to my freaking chest but yeah so I'm excited but I'm gonna cook this dinner y'all um cook this and I put some lemon juice and some time in the water in my steamer but I'm gonna let these steam there we go I love the steamer pot oh my gosh it's the best the best hands down I love it so I still got oh I got three I still got three um what's the names in here but this one is pretty small three clusters left but this one is pretty small so that's perfect for the next time I want to have crab legs perfect 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 I think guys that I'm just gonna say goodnight now because your girl's tired I'm think pretty much after I watch a little bit more of YouTube and eat my dinner that I'm gonna call it a night like seriously like I'm freaking exhausted but Thanks so much for watching, guys. Um, I appreciate everyone who's been supporting me through Vlogmas. And um, 
your girl just appreciates it for real for real and thanks so much for watching make sure you guys hit that thumbs up button hit the notification bell so you always get notifications when um when i upload and make sure to subscribe so i'll see you guys in the next one